They created the path to provide access to bicycles and pedestrians to the bridge. Now all they need are bicycles and pedestrians. The plan was to convert the unused shoulder of the upper deck into a bike and pedestrian lane using a movable barrier. That's been done, but now a UC Berkeley study commissioned by the MTC says use of the path has been light. The average number of bike crossings on a weekday is only 136, or 68 people if they're all round trips. And the study shows that only 16 pedestrians on average cross the bridge on weekdays. Maria Brospero was struck by how empty it was as she was walking her dog Oriole. Are you surprised that more people aren't using it? Of course, I'm surprised because, you know, today I don't see the people. I say, what happened with the people? <laughs> I don't see oh, it's only me in audio and that's it. Supporters argued that the path would make it possible for people to bike to work. But Marin Supervisor Damon Connolly says the number of bike trips during commute are minuscule at a time when thousands of cars sit in morning gridlock trying to get onto the bridge. And what it's showing is that it is not being utilized in any appreciable way as a way to commute right now. Connolly is proposing that the barrier be moved, like on the Golden Gate Bridge, to accommodate cars during the morning commute and then shifted back to a bike path the rest of the day. The Marin County Bicycle Coalition opposes that proposal, saying reducing congestion would only encourage more cars and the congestion would return. But Maria Cuervo, who walks the bridge regularly with her kids, doesn't mind the idea. I mean, yeah, uh, there's a lot of traffic in the morning, so I mean, yeah, it's reasonable for, um, for it to be another lane in the morning. But you wouldn't like to see it go away completely for you? Oh, no, no, <laughs> just like in the morning, but other than that, I wouldn't want to go away. <laughs> but Ken Silva spends time fishing near the path and thinks they ought to leave it just the way it is. Cars have to get through, but this little lane, it's not causing no havoc. It's good to go, I think. <laughs> Not surprisingly, the people who walk or bike the bridge love doing it. The question is whether those who often admonish drivers to share the road are willing to return the favor. In San Rafael, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Well, the data does show use of the path goes way up on weekends with an average of 404 bike crossings and 40 pedestrians each day.